Artem Dovbik is probably one of the most popular names among Spanish football fans at the moment. But how much do you know about this footballer, apart from the fact he plays for Girona and the Ukrainian national team? Exactly. This is the Fulgram channel and in this video we give you all the interesting and little known facts from Dovbik's biography. Before I start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. Not for me, but for you, so that you never miss the next episode. If you've done that, let's get started. Let's go back in time to Euro 2020. There in the last 16, Artem Dovbik burst on the international scene with a goal against Sweden in just his third game for Ukraine. Just think about it, a little-known guy advances his country into the historic quarterfinals. His previous involvement for Ukraine had been limited to 9 minutes against Kazakhstan and a friendly against Bahrain. And Dovbik didn't even play a single minute at Euro 2020 before that crucial game. His chance only came because teammates Artem Besarin and Andriy Molinka got injured. But the best thing about it is that Dovbik broke one of the oldest records in the European Championship history. He scored in the 121st minute of the match, trumping the record set by Michel Platini, who in 1984 scored in minute 119. Not bad for a debut goal for a national team. Do I realize I'm the hero of the match? Honestly, not yet. I have no words. It was such a coincidence I had to play this game. The coach said I had to wait for my chance, and so I waited. I probably won't be able to sleep tonight, Dovbik said after the match. Let's move on to another fact. Some footballers have it easy, our damn Dovbik didn't. He started his professional career at a relatively small Ukrainian team called Cherkasy Dnipro. For some reason, top clubs never looked to sign him. He did receive a trial invitation from one of the better sides, Kharkiv medalist, but a knee injury disrupted his plans. Maybe it was all for the best, actually. Just as Kharkiv medalists were ready to play in the Champions League, they were charged with much fixing and ceased to exist a few years later. Dynamo Kiev were also briefly interested in Dovbi even joined for a trial, but in the end he simply got rejected. Who knows why exactly one of the two top teams in Ukraine turned the Badinyan striker down, but I'm 100% sure their bosses are now kicking themselves for letting Dovbi slip. While Dovbik's career in his home country took a lot of time to get going, his Spanish adventure was an instant hit. In fact, Dovbik is in the history books as the first ever Girona player to win the Player of the Month in La Liga, which he did in December 2023. He's also the first ever Ukrainian to do so. Fair enough, not that many Ukrainians have played in Spain, so there's a little test for you. Can you name all of the 13 Ukrainians who have ever played in La Liga? Let's test your knowledge in the comments. Dovbik scores so many goals for Girona that he had enough time to come up with unusual celebrations, like he once imitated Hulk. On another occasion, Dovbik made the letter K with his fingers, and this is actually a cute one. He dedicated it to his daughter, Kira. In between Spain and Ukraine, Dobbik played in Denmark. Perhaps you already know this, but did you know he played there for two clubs and won three trophies? He first won the double with Midtjylland, and when he went on loan to Seneriusk, he also won the Danish Cup. Trophy magnet Artem Dovbik. But Denmark isn't the most exotic destination on his football and CV. It turns out he also played in Moldova, something we were actually shocked to discover while preparing this video. Although Ukraine and Moldova share a border, the former is vastly superior when it comes to football. But back then, Dobik was a young player who needed match practice. So he went abroad for six months in what was, frankly speaking, a forgettable spell. After years of traveling, Dovbik eventually settled at Dnipro 1, and his career began to improve. Artem himself became a better player. He was now physically stronger and more mature. In fact, the striker is obsessed with growth and practically lives in the gym. People often say I'm a machine. Christian Stoney calls me Pichichi. He keeps saying hi, Pichichi, but I'm just Artem, a machine, nothing more. Sometimes I take my fellow Ukrainian Viktor Tsigankov to the gym right after games. Teammates call me crazy because it's a bit wild to do it in Spain. Dobik has been fascinated with sports ever since he was a child, but curiously, his first love was boxing. A bit like Alexander Usyk, the world-famous boxer from Ukraine, used to play football too. But the person who inspires Dobik the most is not Usyk or even the Ukrainian Ballon d'Or winner Andrei Shevchenko. It is Cristiano Ronaldo who amazed Dobik as a kid in his first spell at Man United. Perhaps the most relevant fact about Dobik is how he helps his country. 
He doesn't advertise this, but as confirmed by the Ukrainian military, he has been supplying drones, cars, and anything else for the army. Back in 2020, Dobbik said, I have changed. The whole country has changed and today we are working to make Ukraine free and independent. My achievements are nothing compared to what the soldiers in the front lines are doing, but we strive to help and will continue to do so until all land is free. We thank the armed forces of Ukraine for defending our country and allowing us to breathe freely and do what we love. And this is the end. Write in the comments one fact about Artem Dovbik that surprised you the most. Also drop your suggestions for what else you'd love to see in the next videos. And don't forget to check other episodes that are already on this channel. See you there!